my good people, welcome to Ticket Book Club. Today we'll be looking at the summary on the book The Samaritan by John Lara. Introduction. The Samaritan tells the story of two students in Maracas who develop a mobile application called The Samaritan, an online platform for whistleblowing as well as sharing ideas and information enhancing public welfare. Soon, the app is flooded with damning information about the unparalleled corruption, malfeasance, and political capture perpetuated by Maracas' political leader. The story is set in Maracos municipality in a fictional state. During Sagrada Secondary School's end of the year closing ceremony, Mossi, the mayor, is invited to launch the Samaritan, a computer program in the form of application which is an invention of the students Alvira and Montano under the mentorship of Nicole, the ethics and innovation teacher. The app works by people sharing information in the form of pictures, videos, and texts depicting corruption within the municipality, but the mayor surprisingly denies it on counts of possible misinformation, lies, and witch hunt. He also asks Nicole to stop it, but seems like it is too late because it now is in the hands of National Information and Communication Technology Corporation. Mayor Mossy convenes an impromptu meeting a few weeks later in order to deliberate on their fate as the app has taken a turn for the worse and stories of rot in the municipality is dominating headlines in the daily newspapers. The meeting comprises of Bembe, the IG of police, Haverse, the municipality CEO, Ted, the Secretary of Department of Health, Ramdeye, the Deputy Mayor, and Jaden, the judge. They plan on stopping the operations of the Samaritan app by mobilizing money to fight the graft cases in them. Restriction and reallocating the municipal fund budget which Mossy vehemently refuses as it would all be tracked back to him in the long run, to the dismay of Ted and Seymour, whom financed his political bid and he in turn had advocated for their election to the council. Mwalimu Consultancy Limited analyzes that the meeting between Bembe, Mossy and Harvester sheds light on their corruption dealings. Bembe is accused of drug peddling, violation of human rights, extortion of motorists by his gang of ghetto boys, and encroachment of public land by buying and building Madingo Golf Club in Maracas University land. Mossi is accused of municipal capture while Haversa is accused of abuse of office by writing and posting a letter to the national government to suppress the usage of the Samaritan and related apps within the municipality. They claim that Bastier, the opposition leader, is the one behind the leaked documents on the Samaritan app. They resolve to hold press conferences daily to show that the municipal is committed and working and also plan to draft the meeting planned by Ted, Samer and his deputy with the councillors to spearhead a vote of no confidence in him. They plan this by organizing guns and police plus youth to coordinate burning of tires, mattresses, cirques and polythene papers next to the municipal offices. Alvira and Montano are worried on the implications of the Samaritan, on Nicole, especially after closing day threat by Mossy. But she assures them that all will be well, so they had to remain strong and hopeful that the app uncovers the rot in the municipality. The biblical allusion of the parable of the Good Samaritan who saved an injured man who had been attacked by robbers but ignored by the Levite and high priest due to religious differences. The two symbolize the leaders who cannot work for the people who elected them but instead focus on their personal agenda, leaving the people to fend for themselves. Mayor then convenes a meeting with Nicole, 
and shed light to the role in the municipality. He is so ignorant that he fails to get access to the copy of the letter sent to him by her on the reply concerning the app he asked her to pull down. He thinks Basdio can use the app to frame him so he spills the beans on his cartel. Ramde is responsible for the poorly done roads while Ted conspired with family to get hospital construction tenders but built nothing concrete. The mayor is surprised the people actually voted for them and accuses the leader, a former DJ for noise pollution and improper grooming appealing to the youth who overwhelmingly voted him. Seymour has to be bribed for someone to get a building plan approved from his office. He also is a drug trafficker and the eldest son is in rehab while the wife is a perpetual drinker and he also has a black swan gang responsible for disappearance of people. The judge hawks justice like cabbage. He accuses Nicole of playing politics and asks her to pull the up down and shifts blames on people for bad governance by electing bad leaders after admitting having a hand in the corruption too. Ted, Simmer and Ramde recruit Basdeo and promise to make him deputy mayor in case they sought Mossy and Simmer becomes mayor. They plan to throw that on his name by claiming that he oversees allocation of municipal fund on war development favoring his ethnic background. They plan to hold a rally to sell their stupid ideas. Mualim Consultancy Limited analyzes the violin class Nicole is approached by Narine and Bembe, who claim that he wants to check her office. He arrests her for not pulling down the app and for being too stubborn as a mule and being strong witted. He also frames her for the stolen school generator, which he had sent his guns to steal but to no avail. She is released later by Jaden, who found her innocent and after a massive backlash by the people in crowds at the court on hearing day. Bembe and Mossy meet and plan to stop rally at all costs by contracting both Ghetto Boys and Red Eagle Gang to cause rampage. Jaden's corruption is brought to light as he, through his mistress Ivy, got a pesticide contract from the municipal in order to kill rats in maize stores. But shockingly, the rats originate from her prime orchard farm that Jaden had shares on. He is now forced to help them prosecute speedily Basdeo and Ramde for the grand scandal he is also in, and Samer and Ted for supplying air to the municipal. Jaden meets Harvester and both agree to convene a consensual meeting for the warring parties to call a truce since he is also caught up in the middle of their death. During the meeting, they seem to come to an agreement for Jaden to file cases and make them disappear by ignoring them to preempty any legal moves against them and to also offer Nicole a contractual job in the municipal as a consultant with the oversight powers on all them departments in the municipal and report only to Mossy, but she refuses. All of them are finally apprehended by Inspector Tajo from National Anti-Corruption Investigations Bureau. Thanks for listening this piece from Ticket Audiobooks. Be sure to listen to other audiobooks in the list. Subscribe, push the notification bell and don't forget to share with your friends and family.